friends, how are we doing today? I hope that we are doing good. Um, so I had a couple of questions about what I'm doing in kindergarten for my um, autistic grandson. He's six, he's in kindergarten. We're homeschooling him. And so um, some people have asked, well, what are you doing for kindergarten for him? So I thought I would come on here and just give you a little glimpse at what we're doing for kindergarten for Tobias. <laughs> Um, he's not here today. We're actually on spring break. I needed that break. So did he. So, so did my son. Um, cause I'm also, you know, homeschooling my son who is in his senior year. So we're on spring break and we're enjoying that spring break. Still been extremely busy, but it's just nice not to have to worry about, um, fitting in school. <laughs> so I'm going to give you just a little rundown about what we're doing. So one of the first things that I found for him, because we were, um, cause we had to pull him, sorry, I had a straight hair going on me. So we had to pull him out of, um, public school. It was not a good fit for him. Things were happening. And so we pulled him out about, oh, I'd say about three months into it. I'm going to say give or take. Um, and so we had to kind of find something quick. And I remembered from my oldest son, I had used this site, and it's been a lifesaver. Now I've never used it as a whole curriculum, only using the site, but several people have. Kids have graduated using the site and done wonderfully in life. So um, yeah, and you may even know what I'm talking about. Do you guys know Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool? So it's an online, it's a free online homeschool. There is a weird noise outside. I think there's a big truck or something doing something out there. But anyway, anyway, focus, Leisha, focus. So, um, so what it is, is it actually goes from preschool all the way to eighth grade. And then they have a high school, an easy peasy all in one, um, high school one too. And that's ninth to 12th grade. And my son, my, my um, senior is actually doing two of their courses, I think. Yeah, I think two of their courses, so for his senior year. So Tobias is doing, let me I'm flip you, I flipped you around so that you can see. So this is the site. This is Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool. Um, and over here is where I go. And these are all the, um, very well, there's just an overview of getting started, what's new. And then these are all the classes and things that they offer. So we do, we do kinder math and more. We do, right now we're doing phonics, learn to read. And what else? Oh, the writing, there's kinder writing. And we're doing right there, kinder writing. So we're doing all three of those subjects. So we're doing all three of those subjects online. Um, there are worksheets to print out, or they actually have like it all in a workbook for you and you can get it off like Amazon and they're super cheap. Um, we are not using everything. So we just opted to um, um, I just opted to print it out when I needed it. Uh, we're actually going to drop the writing as soon as I get another workbook for um, his handwriting skills because we're about done with it and he's done really well with it, but um, he needs a little more. So nothing wrong with the program. It's a great program. He's just, um, he needs, sometimes he needs more help. So we're going to get him um, some workbooks and I got a few other things for him. So that's what we're using um, as his, like, I guess his spine, we'll call it that. And then what I do, so what I do is I, I have a little lesson plan page and I just, I got the day, the days of the week and the subjects. So he does, like I said, math writing, phonics, and then I have reading. Um, he does computer lab and then extras, whatever extras are games, um, projects, <clears throat> painting, you know, crafts, all that stuff is extras. So I just write it all down on this sheet of paper and um, we go through it when he gets here. And he has his own little supplies. Right now I just got him in a little cup. He likes these uh, Crayola Doodle Sense markers. Um, he likes to do his worksheets with them and he likes to color. He's not a big colorer, but he will color some with these. 
um, a few pencils with the little grippies on them and um, a little pair of safety scissors and the, and, and our eraser because <laughs> you know we make mistakes and those for some reason those erasers are not very good on the pencils um, we also use for manipulatives um, like in math, um, we have been using pennies and then I have this whole bucket of shells. So we'll use these to do counting and um, activities and math. We read lots of stories, um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. We're reading through our favorite poems of childhood right now. We've read Jack and the Beanstalk. He really likes this one. He really likes Frog and Toad. And we're also reading through the Beginner's Bible. He has a fidget box that I'm putting together. Um, I'm just finding all the things that he can sit with me but still have something to fidget with while we're doing our work. Um, some little cushy bows, a little stretchy lion, a little uh, stretchy bracelet thing. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to um, Dollar Tree and find a few more things for him. Just little, little things um, to help him when we're doing school. We also are doing a journal. So I have him, um, we just started this month doing the journal because I didn't really think about it until then. But so what I'm, I'm just trying to encourage him to, to write and draw and use his fine motor skills. So um, he drew, he actually drew this little man. It's not showing up very well, but I thought he did a super good job on that. And then um, he told me he wanted a pirate ship. Okay, Mimi's not a very good drawer either. So he got this pirate ship. And then I had him tell me what it was. And he said, it's a, pi it's a pirate and a pirate ship. And that is awesome. And that's what he said. And that's what I wrote. So we're just doing every once in a while, once a week, we do a um, passage in our journal. And then from um, Amazon, I got this math readiness book. And I think Honestly, you could go to Dollar Tree and get their books. They're just as good. Um, this is a great book. It's been, he's going through it pretty fast and he's doing great in it. We also have the big preschool book. Yes, he's in kindergarten. We actually had this for him last year. He did about half of it um, before the school year ended because, you know, we do other things too. And so I just saved it and he's been doing the other half this year. Um, don't let something like that says preschool on it, um, you know, discourage you because for him, um, it has things like this, um, cross out the picture that does not belong in each group. So we can talk about, you know, okay, these are balls and that's a trash can. So the trash can's different because it doesn't belong. It's not a ball, you know, stuff like that. Just, just things like that we can do. We've used it for, um, quite a bit. So we're finishing up that like I said, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and get a few more little workbooks for him because um, he really does like working in them. I, don't, I think he feels um, accomplished when he gets a page done. He loves to go show it to mom and dad. And so I do, schools with, I do school with him Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And my daughter-in-law does um, school with him on Thursdays and Fridays. So I have my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday folders. And then what I have her do is just go over the things that we've been doing all week to kind of concrete it in there, concrete it in there. And so like, I'll just, I'm just going to go through one folder, but, um, so like for Monday, I, we have our, our Ugg family book that we're, we're working through, you know, the Ugg family. We have, um, this, I call it build a word. So it's basically, um, it's bug, had, bug hug and had because those are the words that he's working on in his phonics um curriculum on the easy peasy and so what we do is i put the cards down and then we build the word and then we sound it out and blend it together um, he does have some sight words that he's working on just general like color and number words because it's just i know it's just you know something that's just what we're starting with because that's what we do we've got the alphabet flashcards because we're going over our sounds more although he knows he knows it sounds in his letters but we still go over them uh, <clears throat> and then any worksheets that he has we're going to be working on number five and six on this day so he writes his fives and his six he counts how many are there and writes it in and then this one he circles the groups of five or six or four five or six Oh, I see. Now that's what he's doing. He's counting these up here and then he's circling them down at the bottom. 
So we have you know, our worksheets that we're gonna work out in there. And then that's it that's in the folder because you know, we also do our reading and our other activities. So that's, you know, like I said, we also do the extras, which um, we have, um, this is like sorting from biggest to smallest, it's apples. We have memory matching with animals. We have shapes and colored dominoes. We have um, games downstairs like Connect Four and um, actual dominoes and just, you know, a bunch of different games you can use for different things. We have Scrabble so we can um, spell out some things. <coughs> I also have, oh, I, did I show you the, I also have, um, I went ahead and bought this at the Dollar Tree. And we've used it, um, I think, once so far. But I'm just trying to get him to write his letters um, in the correct formation and then keep it in between the lines. Um, so we're just learning, you know, le correct leather, leather, leather formation. <laughs> if I can get that out. I should have brought my drink. Oh, I have coffee right here. Let's, let's stop for a small coffee break. It's definitely what I needed. So... Um, we also, I use a lot of YouTube. He is definitely a, a visual, um, he's a visual learner with, he likes some hands-on activities. Like I said, where we're visualizing the letters of the words and then we're smushing them together and blending. Um, I feel that's a visual and kind of a hands-on activity for him and he likes that. Um, he does like to like build with Legos. He likes to do the shells, count the shells, or play with the shells. Um, he does like to help do some crafts, but he's not a big crafter. So um, we try to do like a craft a week. I don't try to do like overkill with it because he's just not really into it. Not his thing right now. He may, as he gets older, love it. You know, kids, kids ride that wave too. But so right now I'm, I'm definitely seeing he's a visual learner. So definitely like lots of stories and um, videos. Uh, YouTube has so much on it. We have been going over, um, it's helped us go over the ABCs with him. And it's helped us with um, like the short vowels. We're working on the vowels and um, specifically the short vowels right now. And so I found videos on that. Um, kind of forgot about like in preschool we touched on days of the week and then I kind of forgot about it and then saw something about it and I was like oh we need to go over the days of the week he needs to know that so right now we're doing days of the week when he gets that down we'll do like months of the year um, and then what else oh left and right I didn't you know didn't think about left and right either I mean there's so much kids need to know right so I was like, how in the world am I going to get him to understand the left from the right? And I found a video and he loves robots. And this video is about, um, it's a robot teaching you left from right. And I kid you not, we watched it once and he did pretty darn good on distinguishing his left from his right after that. So we'll probably continue to watch that a couple more times until I feel that he really got his left and right down. Um, so yeah, so that's what we do. Lots of lots of stories, lots of fun. He gets breaks. So how we schedule our day is um, like on my schedule thing, I have math. So I'll get, I try to get all the math done. So if there's a video he needs to watch, we try to do the video. There's usually a game for him to play. And that's something else too, like ABC and Starfall have been a big help for him. He really likes those. Um, and help and helping learn. So um, he will usually have something on ABC or something like that for a video for math um, or math counting videos on YouTube. And then um, he'll have like the worksheet, like we're working on um, five and six on Monday. Not this coming up Monday, the next Monday. We have one more week of spring break. <laughs> but yeah, so and, and of course, like we're trying to teach him his, um, he knows his name, he knows his, how old he is, he knows his mom, dad, and brother's name. And so we're trying to do address, phone number, um, address, phone number, oh, and birthday. So, you know, because he needs to know that personal information about himself. 
And yeah, so I think I keep my mind, you know, it's the mind there. So that's what, that's what we do. We have, I set up what we do on a daily basis. We go through it. Oh, that's what I was telling you. So we do all the math that we can. I'm going to get back on track here, I swear. So we try to get all the math done that we can. And a lot of times he makes it all the way through math, doing all of it. And then um, he gets like a 10, we do a 10 to 20 minute break, depending on how much time we have, unfortunately, because we only have so much time. Mom drops him off at about 11 and then picks him up about um, 1.30 or 2. So in between that time, we have to get all our subjects done. And plus, I, he needs breaks. But a 10 minute break will, does wonders for him. He's like absolutely fine with that. I set my phone timer on and when it goes off, he knows it's time to stop what we're doing and go back to school. And so then we'll go on and usually I'll do um, writing or phonics, um, one of the two next, and we'll do all that we have to do in that. And then we'll have another break. Um, and then on these breaks too, he has snacks. He, um, he does watch a little TV. He'll play with Legos or get in the toy box, um, you know, all the fun things. He'll come and tell me a story and just hang out with me for, you know, 10 minutes or something. And um, so that's what we do. We break it up. We do a subject usually. We take a break, another subject, take a break, another subject, take a break. And I've, this year what I did is I saved reading to the end because then he knows once we've read our stories, we're done with school. And it gets, it's a good indicator for him to go say, oh, okay, yeah, if I sit and listen to these stories, then, then we're done with school. He likes to sit and listen to stories, so it's okay. But it's just a good good stopping point for him to know, oh, okay, we're done. Whew, done with my school day, you know? So that's what we're doing right now. Um, next year, it's probably going to change some. Lots of other things are changing, so we'll have to change that. Of course, he will move on to first grade next year. I feel that he will be definitely ready. Um, we're looking at curriculums that I think are going to be good for him. We're going to actually, you know, go with a couple curri different curriculums. Um, for different subjects. <clears throat> I don't know that I will be using Easy Peasy next year. I may and I may not. I'm not real sure yet. Um, yeah, so that's 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 our kindergarten um, curriculum, I guess. That's what we're using for kindergarten. He's doing great. He's done wonderful this year. Um, this Easy Peasy has taught him so much. Um, the videos that I find teach him so much, the books, the different activities that we do. He's loving it. He enjoys school. And that's that's what we want for him. We want him to have a love of learning. So there it is, guys. There it is. Kindergarten all wrapped up for you. So what are you doing for kindergarten? Um, if you're homeschooling kindergarten, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know um, if you have like a special needs child and you have like some kind of wonderful um, suggestions for me, I am all for that. Especially if you have, you know, like autistic children because that's my grandson's autistic. So um, I, and, that, and I just try to go off his lead. Like if I see something is not working, then I change it to something that does work because I want him to learn. I don't want him to be bored in school. I want him to think school is fun and um, be excited about school. And so far he has been pretty excited and he doesn't get bored and, and he has a good time. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you for following along. Don't forget to me a, give me a thumbs up. Leave those comments down below and subscribe so you don't miss another amazing episode. All right, my amazing friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.